Yo everybody welcome back to a new video and today we're just here in practice mode and yeah let's start. So basically as you can see um oh, oh yeah I have this guy also on but yeah you can see we have playing here the boomer which is fantastic. So boomer farm village as usual but it's one to only challenge. I only use village if necessary but uh yeah, we don't really need it. So also make it a little bit faster candy in the future to be fantastic. Uh, you probably see it faster than I do right now, so it is fine. Oop. There we go. Now everything should be faster for me, which is pretty fantastic. All right, so it's basically 114 percentage of speed. So it's not too um, long of a video, but Boomerang is pretty decent. I would say it's pretty decent for beginners slash rushing defenders, if that makes sense. It costs only $400, uh, dollars, which is pretty decent. And Pierce is, I think, too, which makes it pop three balloons at the same time, which is also pretty decent. Now, of course, um, you can upgrade the Pierce to seven, which is, of course, pretty nice. You can pop to seven balloons. I think it's six periods in total, so seven balloons will be necessary in total. You can see that I always go for two seventies before I go for my farm because, yeah, we need eco more than um, you know, the uh, farming money. We need eco more. That's why I also have super monkey or super good boost there because it's pretty decent to use it. In five, ten, and fifteen. Now, you can hear me being quiet, that's because it's almost 2 a.m. and I don't want to be too loud. So I'll be making this really, really short. So basically, I just went for my farm. Probably see a little bit before me, because I just started before I start watching this uh, footage. But uh, basically, you always want to go for your farm around 6-ish. If you want to do one tower only challenge to earn the money you need. You can also go for zero zero farm for the beforehand before buying this uh, one zero to get more eco which you saw here. Now um, how I did this is I actually restarted the recording. I actually thought I'll be uploading this one first but I did not so I redo this again and you saw that I I actually saw that I died to round 24 which I thought would be dying to round 25 but I died to round 24, which was kind of embarrassing, so we done it, and I died to round 25. What a joker. But, um, I was thinking I could probably went to round 27, but I did not, sadly. So, kind of embarrassing, if I'm being honest. But it is what it is, I almost did it. If you guys actually want to do this as well, be my guest, and um, someone joined, which I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> Operator. But, um, Technically, you can do it without boosts or with boosts. But I'm doing this without boosts because that's a true one to only challenge. And that's where you can do it in certain um, arenas, for example. But that's everything basically to say to Boomer. Again, Boomer is pretty good for Sheep Tower in general, slash, good for defending. Uh, the ability to overcharge is pretty decent, it's pretty good. So, whatever you do use that every single time when you get rushed. I would recommend doing it against like CC players or below. If you play against more pit players and they have like low, arena, uh, low mats, you can do that. But normally, you don't want to go boomerang because that's not really smart. So I prefer if going like tech maybe or ninja farm A's, anything that helps you slow down your uh, sight, anything like that, if that makes sense, or guaranteed popping power group damage wise if that makes sense. I can also see that I have to be making myself a little bit louder which is gonna be annoying. That's fine but yeah technically that's it. Um, that's everything. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys as usual in the next video and have a nice and juicy day as usual. Mwah.